Hello fellow fellow. Happy hari naman tayo this time. So, konti pa hinga tayo sa mga travel vlogs natin. Kasama ko ngayon si Dennis and uh, Jenilyn or Sister Jill. Fair. And uh, I'm gonna tell you a bit of a story about them in a while. Uh, how, the, how how I met them. But uh, I want to ask them, you know, for the benefit of sa mga gustong makarating dito sa Australia, you know, for work or to be a migrant. Um, let's ask them kung ano yung kanilang experiences, ano yung mga natutunan nila at mga uh, advice nila sa atin as migrants. Alright? So this is our kapihan sa Truganina <laughs> on Fellow Fellow. Hi, Dens. Hello, bro. Hi, Jay. Hello, fellow Philo. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for inviting us to the bahay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So, uh, for the benefit of our uh, viewers, and are here in your house, your own house, this is uh, Melbourne, mm -hmm. and you guys live in Truganina. Okay. Right? Now, uh, I want to ask first of all, ano yung inyong naging uh, migration story? You know, could you give us a brief timeline mm -hmm. dun sa simula, you know, ano yung dahilan kung bakit kayo nag-migrate dito? Ano yung naging uh, proseso niyo? Because mm -hmm. you guys are already citizens. Tama? So, we want to know. Okay. Uh, 2006, was uh, yung year na nag-migrate ang aking family sa US and ay huwag kaming dalawa magkapatid na panganay because of over age uh, and then the first few years was okay uh, we had freedom <laughs> and then 2009 nung first na nag-holiday yung parents, family namin from US to the Philippines and Ayun nga, uh, sabi nila that uh, life abroad is uh, better than in the Philippines, uh, which is it got me interested. Ah, uh, okay, see. And then sabi nila we should try Canada kung hindi kami pwede sa US. And it, uh, I pondered it in my thoughts. Mm -hmm. So 2009 of December sila po uh, nagbakasyon. 2010, I started uh, researching na as, uh, okay, uh, for requirements to Canada, yeah. and then fill, uh, did all the necessary documentation for Canada. Canada. And then there's one thing na nag pop up while I'm flying or researching uh, mga uh, requirements yeah. to come to Australia. Okay. And I click that uh, through the website and. Uh, coincidentally, same requirements in uh, Canada, which I already have, except for the show money, which I don't have, except for Canada. <laughs> Napaganda pa. So you're telling me that hindi kayo nagbabalak talaga mag Australia? No. It was in, totally didn't, uh, an, an, an accident. Mm. No. Unbelievable. Okay, continue. Okay. And then, so yun, uh, 20, 2010 of July, na ko yung yeah. requirements and eventually lost it. Comes uh, exactly 11 months, yeah. June 2011, nung yung permanent resident visa namin to Australia. Uh -huh. And then a few months of preparation, September 2011 was the day of our initial entry here in Melbourne. So, then, uh, September 2011. Yeah, yeah, 2011 yeah. Now it's been seven and a half years since then. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, fast forward to 2016, then we got our citizenship. citizenship. Uh, you, you went through the inter the the, the, the quiz, yeah. and then eventually the swear swearing. Yes. Very good. All taking ceremonies. Um, now, I want to ask, you know, ano yung naging experiences nyo, you know, yung, in particular, yung, yung struggle nyo 
you know, in assimilating yung pagdating nyo na dito, ano yung nahirapan kayo sa una? Or ano yung kumbaga na culture siya kayo na na nangyari sa inyo, you know, coming in here? Ikaw, ikaw, Jen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, to be honest, it's the weather. Because you have to cope with the cold weather. Okay. Yeah. From a tropical country coming to a very, <laughs> a very wintry <laughs> weather. Parang, um, parang ano, a centralized uh, air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And, um, but I was able to adjust. Yeah. And um, dahil na, 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 nabigyan kami ng tips ng mga, um, uh, mga fellows din. Okay, how to ano um to be the best. Oo, kasi pag madaling araw yun na lalo na ano lamig na lamig talaga kami noon. Tapos gusto ko nang bumalik. Sabi ko dinala mo ko dito para ayun. Para sa lamig. pero binigyan ko naman ng tips like bumili na lang kayo ng um, tawag nila dito Duna. All right, yung, okay. Yung makapal na comforter sa sa bed, yeah. Oh, okay. kung so si kung sino pa yung mga nasa Pilipinas ngayon, pwede namin kayong i-refer sa bilihan. Advertisement. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. And um okay. How about in terms of culture? Anong uh, ano yung uh, nag-surprise sa you coming here? Sa culture? Uh, it's the language. <laughs> the language. Yeah. language. <laughs> so there was a bit of a barrier. Mm. Kasi di ba may lit sila sa shortcut and then... Thai uh, American. Thai uh, American English yep. na talagang kompleto, mm. kompleto. <laughs> and then yung uh, confidence mo kung paano ka makipag-communicate sa kanila. So yung alam naman natin yung culture nila na talagang uh, makwento kumbaga. Yeah. So bawat ba, bawat kita mo sa workmate mo kailangan may kwento ka. <laughs> Ganun eh ako. Totoo, alam, so, mga... alam ko yung ikukwento ko eh pero hindi ko lang alam paano sa me. <laughs> may mga office conversation yeah. mo. Yeah. 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 With the uh, Ako siguro yung kwento yung sa transportation. Kasi initially in our first month here yung tinirahan namin is malayo sa train station. Mm. By the way, train station yun yung main mode of transport going towards the city. Yeah. That was when I got my first job and ang ang uh, aking routine is to go by a bus. At pag na-miss ko yung bus, I will wait for another 15 to 20 minutes for the next one. Yeah. It was spring back then at medyo mahangin. And then the jacket ko hindi pang Australia. Funny <laughs> piece. And sabi ko, and sabi ko ano ba naman? Uh, Nagreklamo ako. Kung yeah. sa Man- Manila, okay lang yung MRT at least hindi malamig din dun. <laughs> Gini gina sa lamig. But that was also when I uh, really strive to learn how to drive. Which yeah. is a very uh, dito, necessity ang sasakyan dito sa yeah. area. Yeah, I believe that uh, one luxury. <laughs> uh, primerong advice na naririnig ko from uh, migrants here, G- get a car. Kasi yeah. in terms of tra- going to places, mm-hmm. uh, shopping centers, for grocery, for going to work, you really have to drive all around uh, the area. Otherwise, you'll be tied up sa public transportation. Right. Uh, walang tricycle dito. <laughs> walang pedicab. <laughs> walang pedicab, sorry. <laughs> now, um, gano ka importante ang community in terms of coping dito sa mga changes na na-experience dito sa Australia? Could you give us a brief background dun sa you know, sa community na, na affiliated ka, kayo ngayon. Tell us about it. <laughs> Di ba, ano, uh, typical na ano natin, pag alis ng bansa, wala kang uh, kakilala, wala kang mga kakamilya, wala kang nanay. Yeah. So, uh, pagpunta namin dito, ang unang-unang ano namin, yung homesickness. But right. then, Nakila may uh, yung family ni Pastor Art na nakilala pa noon ni, ni Dennis sa mm-hmm. Pilipinas pa at may uh, nag kumontak sa kanya yung anak ni um, Pastor Art. I see, okay. <laughs> yeah. Going a step backwards, uh, mayroon ng forum dati, it's called uh, philippines.com.au yep. which doon ko namit si uh, Ayla, doon ko siya namit. My wife, yeah. Pero hindi na siya existing ngayon, napalitan na siya. 
And then, uh, meron kami nakilala doon na isang Pilipina na nag-refer sa amin sa aming titirahan. Ah, yeah. And then, mm-hmm. doon na rin siya, siya na rin yung... Nag-refer sa akin sa work. Ah, oh, yun. Alright. Yeah. Okay. So, then, importante yun, uh, establishing your connections. Connection. Network, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And then, meron oh, kaming unang group na nasalihan. Na, na, na mm-hmm. But then, uh, dito pala sa Melbourne, napakaraming Filip- Filipino groups na may, uh, may sports group, may uh, church group, meron din mga... Uh, Fishing group, ah, marami. It's very diverse. Yeah. Filipino pa lang yun ah, ang sinasabi ko. So how much more sa ibang lahi. And then you just have to find the right one for you na mag-nurture sa inyo uh, as a person, as a uh, physically, financially, most, uh, most especially spiritually. That's right. Uh, mag- kaya yun ang prayer namin na uh, ma-connect kami sa right na group. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, ayun nga, binaan uh, kami ni ang ating Diyos doon sa tamang grupo na uh, yep. uh, through, because sa akin din naman na-issue ang homesickness kasi uh, di ba nag-migrate ang aking pamilya sa US. Sa akin. Sa kanya, especially yung sa homesickness. But ako, uh, na-enjoy ko na uh, hindi dahil away ako sa pamilya ko but pinalitan ng Panginoon ng mas marami pa akong nanay, mas marami pa akong mga yeah. kapatid dito yeah. kung para nang nasa Pilipinas. So, so kung magalagay mo siyang extended family. Yeah. Uh, uh. And that's very important kasi mm-hmm. nga, as a migrant, uh, you're, you're parang baby eh. No? Mm-hmm. Everything is, uh, is new for you. That's yeah. right. You know, it's uh, culture shock and pa- transportation, all mm-hmm. that bit. Pagtawid na nga lang sa kalsada, hindi <laughs> <laughs> ka lang titignan ka sa exactly. someone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. And so, uh, what are you guys uh, uh, up to now? You know, and what keeps you busy with this uh, Australia? Uh, ngayon, ano ba? <laughs> uh, so, nabili namin itong bahay 20, uh, yung lupa 2012. And eventually, nag-title, at saka nag, uh, nag-build yung house 2015. Yeah. Of course, of some delays. Ngayon, we're up to our next house. Uh, wow. Little Bell. Congratulations. You know, I mean, we're going to be seeing now to uh, find the desi- right design and also to uh, have uh, have this as our investment property and look at it. Okay. Uh, so that's on the financial side. So uh, uh, other areas, we have some sinalihan namin na church group. We uh, upcoming uh, seminar. Uh, All right. Dr. Pajat Batarsi and uh, we're involved in uh, church groups uh, uh, Christ New Creation International, International. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and speaking sa, sa investment house so ngayon pa lang <laughs> ino-open na po namin sa lahat <laughs> kung sino yung mga maghahanap ng uh, accommodation you're very much welcome. Oh, wow, that's just, very generous of you. Oh, just wow. contact fellow Philo. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get some commission out of that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Now, uh, just a bit of a story, you know, as far as our fellow Philo. Uh, I mean, personally, I migrated here uh, February of 2012. The first step na in dito sa, sa Melbourne. And the very first people, the very first families the that welcome Sammy did to Melbourne was in fact Dennis and Jen. Um, the very first Sunday that we came here, sila yung uh, nag uh, host Sammy. They welcomed us and uh, you know we did we did not know them, you know my family and I, we did not know them sa Philippines. Everything was just online yung uh, philippines.com.a uh, yung mga binabanggit ni Dennis uh, we, uh, my wife got to meet them there and then pagdating dito the rest is history so right now we're we're very close friends and uh, we also I also attend the same community na natin ni Dennis and Jill which is uh, Christ New Creation International and I find na uh, having uh, a 
community, you know, an extended family, so to speak, na pwede kang magdaay ng mga struggles mo dito sa Australia as a migrant, mm. yung mga concerns mo, they were very, very welcoming, they were very helpful. In fact, nung, nung first time that I moved out from my, from my rental house, uh, Dennis and uh, other uh, fathers in the church community was able to help me in moving. And uh, it's, it's, I think it's very important that uh, as a migrant, if, you, you know, if you're watching right now and you're thinking about migrating to Australia or maybe even anywhere else, find a community that you can become a part of and uh, you know, be, be able to support and also to be supported you know uh, in every aspect of your life mm. all right thank you jel and uh, dennis sa uh, pag welcome niyo sa amin sa bahay na to oh, and, uh, bro. <laughs> thank you for the coffee and maybe yes. I'll, I'll have some of the cake later oh. <laughs> and um guys thank you very, very much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment yeah. down below for future updates here on fellow film <laughs> We'll go back to travel vlogs, okay? But uh, right now, you know, just just enjoy the rest of the week. And uh, happy weekend, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>